So now what we need to do is that we need to create our project folder. And it's very important to create your project folder in a location where it's easy for you to access. And the easiest location, I think, is your desktop. So now what I'm going to do here is that I am going to say CD and then desktop. This is going to change directory to my desktop. And then I'm going to hit enter. And this, this is, as you can see, it's going to change directory to my desktop. And I will be able to create the project in my desktop. Now, in order to create our project, we need to type the following. Django, and then hyphen admin, and then space, and then start project, and then the name of the project. You can, of course, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name my project my project, my, my underscore project. And then let me hit enter. And if I hit enter, a project or a folder, a, a Django folder or Django project uh, has been created. Let me show you that. So if I head on over to my uh, desktop, as you can see, I have here a folder called my project. Now, in order to open this in Visual Studio Code, all you need to do is that you need to drag this folder and drop it on Visual Studio Code and it will be opened. So as you can see here, this is my project folder and it has here, it says here my project and it has here another file called manage.py. So let me walk you through these files and uh, uh, the importance of these files and what these files uh, do. So first of all, we have this manage. This manage file basically is, is very important because this manage folder is going to manage everything. Whenever you want to run your project in the browser, it's gonna, you will need to, to use this file. Whenever you want to create a, a database, you will need to use this file. So this is a very important file. Here in, the, in my project here, uh, we have very important files. So here, if you open up this URL, this URL is going to serve, is going to work as, is going to contain all of the URLs that you have. So of course your project is gonna have URLs because you want to let users to go to specific URLs. So this URLs is gonna specify which URLs you are gonna be using and you are gonna have in your project. We have the settings, which is responsible for settings, uh, such as the installed apps, the middlewares, the templates, all of these things. So here settings is for the settings. And we also have here the uh, init.py. This is just uh, very important for the application to work successfully as well as the uh, wsgi.py. These files are responsible for uh, just making our application, our Django application work successfully and you are not going to work with them directly.